guys, it's week 103 in the House of Horror. Today I'm going to be reviewing Father's Day. This hasn't been released yet, I know that it's just been at the Sundance Film Festival and they lapped it up there, I know that loads of people loved it. Um, so hopefully I'll be getting a DVD release um, in 2012. I know they've, I think they've just managed to get a cinema release in the US, it won't make it cinema here. Um, but in the US you'll probably be able to see it in cinemas. If it is there, go and check it out. Um, it's directed and written by a group of filmmakers called Astron 6, the Canadian filmmakers. And it's um, got the guys, Adam Brooks, Jeremy Gillespie, Matthew Kennedy and Connor Sweeney in it. And they're the guys that directed this. Um, also, they co-wrote it with Stephen Kostansky, who was also part of Astron 6, but he didn't direct it. Um, produced by Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Hertz of The Great Trauma. Um, the cast, Adam Brooks plays Ahab, who is the, is the main guy in it. Mackenzie Murdoch plays Chris Footman, who is the bad serial killer guy in it. Um, Matthew Kennedy plays Father John Sullivan. Connor Sweeney plays Twink. Um, Lloyd Kaufman's Pardon me, Lloyd Kaufman's got a cameo in it as God and the Devil, which was cool. Um, Sonny Ison plays Sensei, and Kevin Anderson plays Father O'Flynn. The synopsis on this is Ahab, a, a man obsessed with exacting brutal, a brutal, violent revenge on the man who murdered his dad, joins John, an eager priest, and Twink, a hot-headed street prostitute, on an epic quest to find and defeat this mythical monster known as Chris Fuckman, aka a a the Father's Day Killer. So yeah, it's it's Grindhouse, um, by the way of Trauma, um, which we we've never seen properly before. Um, but yeah, it's it's really fucking. It's got so much trauma in it. It's it's unbelievable and. The grindhouse in it is brilliant as well. I really, really fucking enjoyed this. Um, it actually started out as a no-budget fake trailer, like Oboe with a shotgun and machete. Um, and eventually, like Kaufman, agreed to finance, produce and distribute it um, if, they, if these guys at Astron 6 went and made it. So they were fucking not going to turn that down, were they? Um, and a lot of people thought this was a, a direct sequel to the trauma classic Mother's Day, for obvious reasons. Um, but the films are in no way connected and they are totally different in every way. I think Astron 6 have made a great movie here. Um, this has classic trauma, it has a classic trauma feel to it. Think um, Toxic Avenger, think Mother's Day, think fucking um, Poultry Guys. It's just, oh, it, it, it is fucking absolute classic trauma. Um, but it is mixed in with the modern Grindhouse throwback as well. Um, the title sequence is brilliant. It's all um, drawn art and it looks really Grindhouse in. It's got the Grindhouse theme tunes type, type. Um, well, you know what I mean. It's, um, this is really synthy, but yeah, it's got like a Grindhouse tune to it. Um, the acting is great and well over the top, cheesy as hell, uh, perfect for this type of film. Adam Brooks plays anti-hero Ahab um, very well and funny. Um, there is actually a scene where um, it makes maple syrup, because obviously it's a Canadian made film, and he hammers this like tap into a tree and it's like, um, do you know like, and when you're hammering into a keg and there's a tap that you can get the beer out of. Well, he's hammering into the tree to get the fucking maple syrup out of the tree. I thought that was really funny. Um, there's loads of blood and gore in this. Absolutely tons of it. Um, gore hounds will proper love it, I'm telling you. Um, there's some great scenes, well, some really fucked up scenes where the footman, or I like to call him the footman, um, Chris Footman, actually gets a blowjob off a severed head. A la Switchblade Romance, or, or High Tension, whatever you call it. Um, there's lots of intestines getting ripped out, and there's even um, penises, erect penises getting bit off, chewed, swallowed, all shit flying out of the cocks, and 
Oh yeah, it's fucking, it's quite stomach churning and it shows that you're all on camera. It's got to be easily one of the goriest trauma films ever made and that's saying something because nearly, nearly every trauma film is gory as fuck. But this, um, it was just brilliant. I just, I just fucking lapped it up to be honest. I have been waiting a long time to watch this and I'm usually let down when I'm so eager to see something. But I was just blown away. The tr soundtrack was excellent and as I said, um, with the classic synth theme music, reminiscent um, a little bit of Goblin, who did um, some 80s films, the Italian 80s films, but it had a grindhouse twist to it as well, which I thought was great. Um, I like the colours throughout the film, they were very vivid and similar to um, Hobo with a shotgun, like it, there was really neon colours, like there was reds and greens and um, I think Hobo used it a little bit too much and it started getting on my nerves in Hobo. They use it perfectly here. It doesn't do me any, it didn't do me anything whatsoever. Um, I just thought they did it brilliantly. Um, overall, this has now overtook the original Mother's Day as my favourite trauma film of all time. Um, and that's saying something because I thought, because I love Mother's Day. Um, it's one of my favourite films. Um, but now, Father's Day has actually overtook Mother's Day as my favourite trauma film. Um, it's sleazy, funny, go rare, gross out and downright great. Trauma fans are going to freak the fuck out when they see this. They're going to absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's a definitely um, reminiscent of trauma in the glory days of the 80s. Um, so yeah, you're going to fucking freak out. You're going to love this. It's highly recommended. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, guys. See you all next week.